Hello and welcome to a tutorial about slip, slide, roll and stretch which are four new timeline tools that Pinnacle have introduced into Studio 22. Um, it's part of a package which is called three, four point editing tools. But slip, slide, roll and stretch aren't strictly three stroke, four point editing. What they have also added is a new editing mode in the drop downs here called three, four point editing. I'll look at that at some other time. But for now, these tools are really quite useful. They're located above the timeline there, and there's five icons, but only four tools because this one, normal, is the selection tool that we've used all along, uh, all the way back to Avid Studio. And if you've got yourself into one of those, those four modes and you can't work out how to get out of it, you normally can by grabbing the scrubber and moving it around. Um, then you can just click on the selection tool and it'll take you back to the arrow which selects the clips. What do I mean by slip? Slip a clip. Let's look at this clip here on the timeline. It's the second one along and it consists of uh, the bike passing the bush there and cycling around the alley and it ends as it gets into the alley and it's just starting to see this ivy on the wall. Now if I look at this edit back here it's actually a very bad edit. Um, I've deliberately made it bad honestly. Um, as you see us jogging through there that bush, the bike's past the bush by a long way, and then we cut to it and the bush reappears. Now, I'm not quite sure what's going on at the end here. That's not doesn't look right either, does it? But um, what I don't want to do in this scenario is I've just, this all matches the music beautifully, everything's in place. What I'd like to do is move the content of the clip without changing the duration of it or its positioning. Now you can do that quite easily in Pinnacle Studio 21 all the way back using the multi-point trimming tools. And I better just show you what I mean by those. Um, we can select a trimming point on the inside of the in point and we can hold down the control key and add another trim point on the inside of the out point. So now we've got two trim points and we've got this new trim editor at the top here. I say new, but it's old, but it might be new to you. And in the left hand window, we can see what that trim point's monitoring. And in the right hand window there, we can see what that trim point's monitoring. And below here, we've got these nice, neat controls. So I can click that and move the content of the clip 10 frames that way. I can click that and I can move it one frame that way. And again, these controls, one clip to the right and 10 frames to the right. So I've got very accurate control over the content of the clip. And something else you can do, which I always thought was very neat, is you can drag the windows here. It's a bit fiddly to get into. Um, Let's just fix the edit first. What we want to do is end up past the bush. Only just. So we can do that to the very last uh, frame. Sorry, went the wrong way there. There's the bush, just come back. There we go. Now when I come out of trim mode, which you can do with the icon if you want, and play that edit. <coughs> That's what uh, the edit should be, and the out point, pretty good too. So we fixed it using uh, multi-point trimming, uh, and that was pretty effective. But what is the new tool going to do for us? Well, I just click on slip. Nothing's happened. I hover over the clip and I get a new icon there. Now that new icon, is 
the same as the toolbar icon, but it's become the mouse cursor. Select the clip with that cursor and we've got the trim windows again, but in this case they're called preview and they're called in and out instead of left and right because that's the in point, that's the out point. We've still got these lovely tools here so we can go right 10 frames, bring the bush back in or we, uh, or we can go and we can jog it out again and as you can see uh, it's having exactly the same effect but all I've had to do is click one icon. Now instead of being able to drag these windows what you can do is drag the clip and this is a really nice feature because what you've got here is a white overlay on the timeline which shows you where you've got material and where you haven't and if I drag it all the way to there it says oh no you can't do that because there's no more material on the incoming so that's your lot that's what the slip tool does and it's very easy to get to slide is the almost the exact opposite of slip in terms of what's moving you want to keep the content exactly the same but you want to move the clip both the in point and the out point one way or the other at the time so the duration stays the same the content stays the same but the positioning moves now i won't show you how to do that with multi-point trimming but it's the same principle but you put the trim points on the outside let's use our slide mode tool we've got the two preview points there and now they're showing us the actual outgoing the, the shot before we cut to the end point and the shot after we cut away from the out point and i can move the whole clip and watch the timeline carefully this time it moves it up we've trimmed away at the beginning there and moved the bike further back the bike hasn't arrived at the bush so we fixed the bad edit in a different way we've moved the clip the whole clip to where it should be but what's important is this section of the timeline here as we were nibbling into this bit it was extending that bit for us In multi-point trimming, what I could do is add a point there, hold down the control key, add another point there, and bring up monitoring either side of that edit point, and then use the same controls to roll the edit point between the two clips. Now you can do that with our roll tool. Now, what you'll see roll has done here, if you look closely, is every edit point on the timeline has been given a bright orange cursor so that you can see uh, there's, a, there's an edit point that can be rolled there and there's our cursor and we drag it we get a green ghost cursor and we get all our uh, feedback from the two previews up there we can use these little very accurate trimming tools as well and we're rolling the edit point in a much simpler way than having to add the two multi-point trims. So our final tool here is stretch, which is slightly different from the principles behind the slip, slide and roll tools, because you would do a stretch using the speed control or in Studio 21.5 time mapping. Um, you've got a movie here which, let's be honest, is a little bit slow at the top. If I was going to put a title over this, uh, it would be fine. But it doesn't really become dynamic until the bike's quite a bit closer in frame. Certainly the first couple of seconds, you not even aware of the bike um, but the music's nice and everything's fine and let's just say you think well you know what I just like to nibble a few seconds off the top of that well let's do that nibble a few seconds off the top let's take 
two seconds off the top. Now, the bike's just that little bit further down the road. I get to see it that little bit sooner. That's great, except of course, we don't want that clip to be that short, but we can't move it because this, the, what is becoming a, quite a famous edit point now, which I put right, um, it's not going to work if we move the clip up to there, stretch all that to there. Well, in fact, we've run out of material, you'll see, but that's <laughs> not the most exciting television in the world, that. So, there's my clip, and I want to make it longer. We can do that with, as I say, the speed control, or in 21.5, the time remapping. But, of course, we have the speed control. And that is this icon here. That icon there. Let's just lose that. Bring it up here. There it is. Let's just drag it that way. Oh, well, the yellow hatched line at the top of the clip is the clue. That's what you get when you add a speed, any sort of time uh, effect to a clip. In this case, it's the stretch that you can do in speed. It's added it to the clip there. I don't know if this is going to play smoothly because I haven't got preview rendering on, but then again, it's only um, it's only 720p video. Oh, actually, the cyclist is going a bit slow, but when we cut to the next shot, because it's such a change of perspective, um, and your perception of speed changes with the lens angle and all sorts. Um, that works fine. So that's stretch done with just a click and a pull instead of having to go into the time, remapping and selecting. Blah, 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 blah. So I think Pinnacle have done a really good job of adding these four new tools. Um, you will now be able to do things and not have to understand multi-point trimming. I will, but I'd encourage you to use it anyway, it's a great tool. Um, but now you can, you, you know that if you use any of those three tools, you can do anything to the timeline without spoiling your sync. And if you want to change the speed of something, it's quicker.